Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Yoga Shalom. I'm Rev. Cantorly Slovi, and I'm going to be your guide through our Omer, Omer Yoga practice on this 27th day of the Omer journey, bringing the offerings of our spirits to the process of discovering the Torah within ourselves. What will we find? This is a restorative yin practice, so please grab some blankets, blocks, pillows, and bolsters to support you from the ground up. Yin just means that we're going to be holding things longer, but it's nothing painful. It's just an opening practice, and it can be a little bit tough with the breaths and the breathing, the pranayama that I'm going to guide you through. So. Just listen to the body and do whatever feels great for you today. We're going to be focusing in on the theme of grounding into endurance. That is Yesod of Netzach. Yesod of Netzach, which just means that that is the intersection of today's Omer journey. And through the deepening of our breath and controlling the pranayama, we're going to begin to unravel some emotions and possibly some awarenesses. So if the emotions come through you, just breathe through them, maybe cry them out, or let them join the flow of the river. Our breath is like using dental floss for the nervous system. It clears the pathways of energy in our bodies. It, it just balances out the triggers and anxiety that we may be feeling from all the events that are happening today. It can feel uncomfortable. So just listen to your body and do only what feels right. It also can feel wonderful. And I hope that you'll relax and allow yourself to be drawn into the music. So today's focus is on the path of endurance, the path that we are meant to follow. What is our greatest strength? Maybe what needs a little bit of work? How can we honor our purpose while staying open to change? So I'll be prompting with some Kavanotan questions. Use them to distract your mind and plug in to the body and spirit. So whether you're in a chair, on the couch, or on the mat, let's begin with the body scan, grounding down into the sits bones, or into the chair, or into the earth, and then imagining a thin, strong thread attached to the keter, to the crown of the head, which extends beyond the universe to the source of life. Energy is flowing down into the top of the head, into the neck, into the shoulders, ears, releasing away from the shoulders, reach, releasing away from the ears. The light of the heart shining through. And as this light streams down from this thread connected to the source, to Ein Sof, that which we cannot imagine. It brings with it a cleansing, cleansing. Just noticing where you might be holding. If there's any tight places down the arms, release those. All the way down to the wrists and fingers. Allow that light, that holy light, to cleanse every cell down into the heart center, down the spine, into the belly. Notice if you're holding your stomach, if there are any knots, just untie those knots. Notice your hips. How are the hips feeling? Allow the hips to release. And all the way down the legs, into the ankles and feet, swallow in the throat and imagine any thoughts you might have that are niggling. We call it monkey mind in yoga, just to float away. Float away and join the sky. Just let them go. 
Bring yourself into this hour of meditation free from distraction, this time devoted only to you and your self-care. Imagine that you're just floating down a river out of care in the world. There might be a few places where we need to decide which fork we're going to go down. No, that's part of the flow of the river. We're not controlling the water. We're just floating with the water. We're going to keep that image in mind as we begin our pranayama practice today. I'm going to move back to the mat into easy seated pose. But if you'd like to, if you'd like to use a chair today, feel free, or if you just want to sit on the couch, wherever's comfortable for you. And in, if you're in a chair, I'm going to invite you to bring up another chair to put your legs on. That way, when we do our heart opening, you can open the heart, and when we're and then maybe grab a pillow when we're folded forward. I think that's the best way to practice in the chair today. Right. So let's ground ourselves down. We bring ourselves into this time and space dedicated to ourselves and our well-being. Right into the center of my back, my back into easy stochastic pose. I've grabbed everything I'm going to need for my practice, including some blocks, some blanket. And just close the eyes for just a moment. Breathe normally. Have a <laughs> started. Pranayama practice yet. Mm, it's very dry in here. So I'm coughing. Alright. So just as we're bathing in this light. Any color. We're imagining ourselves on a raft floating down the river. Today we're taking a journey. Our journey today is all about where we're meant to be, our dharma. What is our purpose? What do we need most for ourselves? As we float down the river, let go of control. Because we can't control the flow. We can go with the flow. But at the same time, we feel free, flexible, open. The river is enduring. It creates space for possibility. But at the same time, it gives us direction. What path are you meant to be on? What direction do we want to be going in? And as we flow down the river, we notice that there's a fork. Now we must decide which path to follow. We can steer ourselves down one side or down the other. Perhaps it's time to let go of something in our past. Maybe it's time to let go of grief or a place or a person, a feeling, an emotion, an event. Let it go. Choose the path that feels right to you and commit to it. Ground 
building now into that enduring faith, that enduring hope, enduring purpose, the mystery that we call life. And as we allow ourselves to be drawn down, floating in the river, we'll bring this vision, this meditation into the mind's eye. So closing the eyes or bringing the drishti, the gaze to the tip of the nostril. Again, imagine yourself floating in water. Mayim chayim, the waters of life. And this metaphor will draw us into our pranayama today, our breath practice. As we empty all of the breath out of the body, drawing our attention into the breath, and then we inhale through the nostrils, and then exhale through the nostrils. Lisa? Yes. 
It may just be me, but I'm having trouble hearing you over the backtrack. I don't know if anyone else is. It might be my iPad. Yeah, I, I found the music too loud. Okay, yeah. I'll turn it down. Thank you. Hold on. Okay. Let's bring you. our bolster. Because we're going to go into a heart opening now. Keep in mind that I'm not going to be talking a lot, so now it might not be loud enough, but we'll do the best we can. So I'm going to invite you to bring a pillow under your legs and a bolster behind your back. And we're going into Supta Baddha Kanasana, or heart opening. And I would like to invite you to continue the pranayama, the three heart breath that we began at the beginning of our practice. Palms will be up, the heart is open. And as you begin to open this space in Sukta Baddha Kanasana, Ask yourself, are there any new paths that I'm going to be opening for myself? And what is my path? What is my true path? Again, you're going to find yourself at a crossroads in the river. And as you float down the river, imagine which pathway would be the best for you. an old pathway or maybe there's a new opening for you and as you open the heart inhale into the lower belly lower lungs and upper lungs and as you exhale imagine the pathway before you join Heart breath into the belly, lower lungs into heart center. And as you exhale, allow the arms to become heavy and the legs to become heavy, floating down the river. path of trust. You're not steering. You're allowing the river to take you, to hold you, to protect you, and to float you where you are meant to be. center 
rock from side to side and then roll over onto the side. Come into cobbler's pose. If you're able to do that, I can do it, but I like using blocks to support my knees. I think it really helps. So we're going to come into Bodhikanasana, which is cobbler's pose. And I'm going to invite you to bring your bolster as we experience this prayer of gratitude. What are your gratitudes? What do you have most to be grateful for? Fold forward, and as we create that space in the back, the pranayama now is going to be flushing the back side of the body. If you need to bring the palms in or you need another pillow, I think I'm just going to enjoy folding forward, bringing gratitude into the third eye. What are you most grateful for today? What brings you joy? What brings you purpose? What brings you reward? That's what's propelling you down the river. And if you get stuck on the bank or you find yourself grounded, bring those gratitudes into heart center and continue the journey and breathe. Three heart breath, inhale it. And as you exhale, you make the arms heavy, fall forward. Inhale into the back. Lower back, lower back lungs, upper back lungs, and into the shoulders. And then as you relax and release, follow the flow of the gratitude. Where will it take you? forward as you 
exhale, release forward, release the hips. Inhale the arms up. Open the heart. Bring that gratitude into heart center. And then bring it into the heart. Going to do some supported side twists. These are wonderful because they really open up one side of the lungs, the other side of the body, and I'll lead you through some of uh, some of the movements that we're going to be doing. So come down onto either side; it doesn't matter. I'm going to start on my right side and here are you. Make sure that your knees are nice and square, and then extend the right leg down all the way. I'm gonna bring a block right here, because I really wanna be supported. And the palm is in front of you. Soften the gaze, don't stare at it out, just soften the gaze. Inhale and bring that left arm up, and bring it behind. Easy twist. How can you bring flexibility into your body? What do you need to let go of? Inhale and exhale. Then you be a little bit more accommodating. Maybe there's something you feel that you need to release as we do the supported side pose. Inhale, exhale. The palm will be up behind you, but you're going to feel that flexibility in the spine. Inhale. And bring the palm forward. Inhaling. Open the heart. Open the possibilities. Where will the river take me? Exhale. Inhale. Bring that palm down. Just roll over to the other side, but I'm going to go to the other side so you can see what I'm doing on this side. There's my pillow over here. So come back down. This is very comfortable. Down onto the left side. Knees are stacked and then extend. Got my bolster here. It's really awkward. I'm going to extend my left leg and then bring the 
you're gonna walk right here. Support my knee. It's very comfortable. Bring the palms together and release. Inhale. In the right arm up and open the heart. into the right side of the body now. Opening the lung. The healing waters, mind, kind. body becomes heavy. Mm. Ah. Mm, I could stay there forever. Okay, one of my favorites. So let's push ourselves up. Grab a bolster. If you're in a chair, you can grab a couple pillows and just fold forward. We're going to do supported child's pose, Balasana. What is your inner child telling you? This is our Kavana. As we turn up, you'll be on your knees or if you'd like to bring the knees wide. I have a blanket here. I like that because it makes me feel nice and comfortable. And I'm just going to come into child's pose. Toes are together or if you just want to be on your mat with your arms forward into child's pose, the third eye comes to the mat. I'm going to bring my, my hands with my cheek on my hands, close the eyes. And bring your inner child into the heart center as you breathe. With each full inhale, bringing that vision of what you need most for your inner child into the heart. And as you exhale, relax all of the muscles, relax the body. But you don't move. Just let it go and join the flow of the river. Slowly 
Crossing the nervous system as you exhale, allow the breath to join the flow of that river. You're still floating on the river. This time, facing forward, but we have no fear. We trust that the path that we are on is the path. again we're going to go in the opposite direction so opening the heart and then reversing that with supported bridge so this is a wonderful this is awesome so i'm going to bring a block right under the hips i close my eyes and if you're in a chair and you want to experience this, just put your pillow right under the lower part of the back and lean back in a chair. And we're going to bring our palms down with the feet right under the knees. And in this heart opening pose, to ask yourself which fork did I take what am I looking forward to and how will these changes create space in my life for strength for courage And now we are on the river and we're floating, but we're connected to every living thing, every person, everything, every tree, every bird.
Inhaling, filling with mind, praying the waters of life, becoming part of the river now, not floating on it, but being in it. If you have a wall in the room that you're in, please go to the wall because we're going to put our legs up the wall for our potish. We're going to do an inversion. So I have my chair here. I'm just going to pull my chair over. Blanket here for my head. Now's our time for memory. As we do this inversion, I'd like to invite you to bring to mind someone who is no longer with us in body, but the spirit abides. And as our worlds are turned upside down by loss, just take a moment to Either bring the legs up the wall, or if you don't have a wall, put your legs on the couch or a chair. And if you're in a chair, bring another chair in front of you and hug the pillow as you fold forward. And now bring the memory of someone who you cherish into heart center. Imagine their spirit all of the beautiful memories they bring to you, folding into the river, joining you on your journey. As you inhale and then exhale, allow grief and pain to float out through the feet. Blessing of memory. And releasing the blessing of memory into the Hayim, 
blessing, gratitude, peace and love, and then release all the blessing and gratitude and love. Breathing normally now. Don't try to control the breath at all as we come into Shavasana. You can leave your legs up the chair if you want, or if you've got a bolster you can bring under the knees. That's awesome. I'm going to do that. Fly back into Shavasana. Maybe turn down the lights or put an eye bag over your eyes. Bring the palms down to the sides. Spending a few moments releasing this restorative practice. It's pretty much stripped away through the pranayama, through the breath. Any stress, any trauma, any fear. Flying back into this 10 inch warm.
spend a few minutes memorizing this feeling. the breath, release through the mouth. Deep in the breath and release through the mouth. If there's anything you might still be holding from our amazing restorative practice, just let that go. And when you're ready, push yourself up to see it. ending our practice as we always do with a healing circle. Mm. Bringing to mind all of those in need of our healing prayers. If you have anyone to mention for healing today, please say their name or write their name in the chat room. Calling upon the sacred waters of Miriam's well, the healing water of the desert. As we've been guided through our river journey today, we continue with the idea of those waters healing us and healing those we love, healing the world. Bringing hands into Anjali Mudra, our balance pose. To open our heart to those healing waters. And as we exhale, send that healing out into the world. A gushing river of healing. Inhale, bring the palms together. And exhale, all that healing right back down into the heart center. Inhale, open the heart to healing. Exhale, send all that healing out. Inhale, press the palms together and bring all that healing right into heart center. Honoring the light within all of us today, I'm going to send us out on our river journey as we continue this adventure seeking what means most to us in our lives for gratitude, for love, for joy. Namaste. This is the healing.